Good morning, beautiful ladies of my heart, and welcome to another wild and crazy adventure with Lala. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, moi, as always, this is the best part of my day. Okay, today we're going to get serious. We're going to talk about thinning skin. What we can do to help it look better, we can't reverse it, but we can help it look better. And the biggest thing, my ladies, my younger ladies, is to start at your age, you know, 20s and 30s, actually. And that is the number one ages our skin is sun photo aging they call it and it's the biggest preventer you can just lather yourself up with a good sunscreen wear protective clothing because this is the biggest organ on our body and it's going to hit everything first and show the signs so that's an important part of your routine we want to do internally and we want to do topical so the first thing we can do internally is to stay hydrated take your vitamins always check with your doctor first but some of the vitamins that are really good for fighting free radicals is vitamin A, vitamin C, E, D. You can get those from food. Always want to check with your doctor before you start anything new. So some of the really good vitamins that I take, well I take a good multi that picks up all the rest and it's not, you know, it's not, doesn't have high doses because you don't really need a lot. Now, vitamin C, I feel that is one of the top internally and externally for fighting free radicals. You want to eat, um, foods that are high in omega oils, omega fatty oils. On the outside is more antioxidants to help because I said your skin hits it first. So I use vitamin C with vitamin E in it for a topical every morning. So I have two. I have the timeless, which is higher percentage, 20% of vitamin C. And then I have this by the ordinary. And this one is a nice mild. This would be a good way to start. So this one has uh, 8% ascorbic acid, and then it has alpha arbutin 2%. And what is alpha arbutin? It is all these technical names, but it reduces melanin formation, improving the appearance of age spots, freckles, melasma, and post-inflammatory pigmentation. So this would be a great one to start with, this one. I had used another one in my morning routine, and I did not like that. I thought that was harsh. So I recommend replacing that with this, especially if you've never used a vitamin C. It's very healing. And so then at night, I use tretinoin. That's another anti-aging. So you need, you need antioxidants and you need uh, our skin repair that what happens is our collagen and elastin does not turn over anymore it doesn't turn over like it used to when we were younger it'd be 28 days of repair now we're over 60 so it's about 50 days before it repairs unless you take precaution and you use skincare products that are geared for your skin type it's very important that you know your skin type if you're real oily you might not want to try this vitamin C because it's in oil now if you don't want to use vitamin C, another one to use that is excellent. Well, peptides are excellent anyway, but this is a copper peptide that is really good for your skin. Let me give you a little information how it's different. So copper peptides rebuild collagen and elastin, erasing wrinkles, and boosting elasticity, while multi-peptides offer a symphony of anti-aging benefits. So. I take just a regular peptide. So I take the multi-peptide by uh, the Ordinary, HA. Ordinary does have a copper peptide. So if you use vitamin C, they don't recommend that you use copper peptides at the same time. And if you use a retinol, retinaldehyde, or tretinoin at night, you don't want to use it then. So that's why I don't use it. They all are very beneficial. Just add a peptide to your skincare. <laughs> I swear. So those two acids, are, I feel, they have beneficial to me. There's so many other, if you have any other ingredients that you think helps fight the free radicals and the photo aging besides sunscreen, I'd love to hear it, ladies. Okay, and now you're saying, all right, we got the skin. What about the skin, the rest of the skin? Well, this to me is the holy grail for me. This is amylactin daily. It's got 15% uh, lactic acid in, so it's a gentle exfoliator. helps smooth your skin. You know, you got rough skin bumps. It's just, it's great in even skin tone. This stuff is, this stuff is really good. And if you don't want to use a gentle exfoliator, this one, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Firms and Tones. This is a lovely hydrating uh, moisturizer. And that's another key. You want to keep everything hydrated inside and out, and that's all your body. Some of the do's and don'ts, ladies, they say, 
Do know your skin type before purchasing over the counter and do a patch test. It's so true. Do create a daily skincare routine. That is so important. Body and face. Be cautious of miracle products. There is no such thing as a miracle product. Good skincare is a marathon, not a sprint. Okay? Don't buy products without doing research on them. Very important. Don't forget to use your products that contain sunscreen. Yeah. And don't hesitate to ask a dermatologic surgeon or your dermatologist. That's where you should actually start, ladies, with your dermatologist. Okay? They would know exactly your skin, the best thing to do. Now, I've had some laser resurfacing, which really helps turn over your cell turnover with collagen and elastin. I've, been, I've done a couple of those. So that's an option. And then microneedling. And this is so interesting because I was approached by a company named Cure, asked if I'd like to try this. It has such good reviews that I said, okay. So I did that this morning. All right. And that's a video coming later. But it's another thing that helps with skin and cell turnover and thin skin is that procedure. Okay. The bottom line is health and nutrition is a good skincare routine that includes sunscreen and hydration and health and well-being. I mean, it reflects all of you. You'll glow from the inside out if you're a happy person. Now, I forgot to mention that some medications can cause thin skin. And those are like uh, steroids, like prednisone. You know, those things you can't do, do without in your routine. So it's important that you do the other to help stimulate your face and <laughs> help stimulate your face and body to produce its own collagen you know and just you just do what you can but you know what beauty is only skin deep all of this is secondary to a happy healthy life i can't stress that enough you guys it's just you guys are my happy place i hope you have your happy place i might be mine i don't know but in the meantime Take care of yourself. Enjoy yourself. Don't step in anything squishy. I don't know how that'll affect your skin, but just it's something that I feel is important. I love you all. We'll see you soon. Please give me your suggestions. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like. I, it, it's just the cat's meow for me. All right. I love you. See you soon.